all right welcome back to the channel since uh the last time we, uh, we did a small change to our woocommerce we found that we could actually add a packaging price to our total and it was shown now a friend of mine asked me and told me you know what i have so many unusable fields that are part of the checkout process so i'd like to remove those so today we're going to be looking at how we can actually reduce these fields maybe we don't want the phone the postal code and remember that these that have the red mark are actually necessary and they are very much needed for the process of checking out so what we're going to do is that we're going to write some code just a few lines of code that will allow us to actually reduce all these fields and make something that is very simple straightforward to the point and have a clean checkout process so let's dive into the code so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to copy one of these uh, plugins that we had made before and i'm going to call it a uh, lab a slim checkout uh prefixing it with my name so we'll have that and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to rename also this particular file that's inside call it that uh so what we're going to do is just drag this and drop it into our editor so we have slim checkout so i'm going to just get this and call this lab slim checkout process okay so next uh what we're going to do is i uh, just change this uh and just call it lab slim uh, checkout and we shall just clean up this code here and check this out and just save so come back into our plugin section reload and we're actually going to have lab slim checkout process here and activate it we have no errors and we're good to go so what we're going to use is actually a very simple hook of woocommerce and this time it's uh, going to be add filter and now add filter what what add filter essentially does is edit content that is already existing on a page and it uses a function so we shall call this uh, simplify checkout process and we shall wrap this in this is going to be our function so the hook that we're going to use or the filter hook that we're going to use is actually called WooCommerce Checkout Fields and essentially we'll just copy this we'll just copy this function and then we'll start writing it's a function the name put our brackets and then open and start so what we can do here is we can actually just echo hello and see what's going to happen so save this come back to our front page on the reload area and we shall see that we actually have a hello here and we have something that's shouting at us that there is an invalid argument applied for each the fields that are here actually you're seeing now we don't have our fields available here because this is breaking so we're going to need to feed in uh something so we know we're going to be feeding in the fields as our first argument and then at the end of the day we have to return those fields so fields and save so if we just come back and reload here we're going to find that all our fields that come by default are actually showing up so now what we need to do is that we're going to edit those individual fields so what i'm going to do is take out this hello and then i'm going to use uh, php to unset the different fields so we're going to use the unset function and we're going to say in each of the fields we want to get uh we want to get the billing And inside the array of billing, we actually want to get the billing company. Billing underscore company. And then we'll terminate that and save. So 
we are looking for the billing company and if we actually come and inspect this particular field we'll see that it has an id of billing company that's why we're using the id if we look at these other fields that will also answer it, for example the street address you'll see that it has billing address one and this is a uh, known as billing address 2. So what we're going to do is uh, we've already saved our code here. Let's just try to reload this page and see what will happen. So we're looking out for company name and now when we look we actually see that we don't have company name and this is not going to affect our checkout process at all because we are just tapping into the WooCommerce and actually removing the different pieces. So what I'm going to do here is just to show you what actually is going under under the covers what's going on so we're going to just var dump our fields that we get here before we unset anything just need to see what's in fields so if we reload that we'll see that we have four pieces of information we have another four so we have billing which has a billing first name that has a label of, of a first name so we can actually tap into the individual pieces. So when we find out what's under the fields by uh, var dumping, we see that we have a lot of information. So we have billing information. We have things like the first name, the billing company. We have the billing country. And we have, uh, if we scroll all the way down, we shall see that we also have things that are to do with shipping. So we have a shipping first name and all of that when we turn on shipping in our WooCommerce at the back end uh, that allows us to use the shipping content uh, on the front end for example if you scroll down you will not see all of that because we've by default WooCommerce allows you to have your billing details to re correspond with the shipping details so you might want to turn on that setting so what we're going to do is that we're going to also just uh, unset a few other fields i'll comment this out so we're going to look for the billing address one and billing address two so i'll just copy we had billing company here so we had billing country i'll copy that too and just drop it here and we need to change this to address underscore one i'll copy that paste it here and then I'll just change this to 2, save and when I come back and reload we'll actually see that we no longer have the address that was being required of us. So we need to take out a few other things, uh, for example the county since we don't use it so that's billing state, the postal code, we'll get the ID which is billing postal code uh, so we're taking out a state, postal code, and phone uh, for now. Uh, let's see how that works out. So we're going to also take out the city. So billing city, uh, billing state, and billing postcode. So let's do that. Three pieces here. We need to take out the postcode. We need to take out the state. And we are also going to take out uh, postcode state, and then this is a city, building city. So we'll take out the city too and save this. And when we come back and reload, we actually find that we only have four pieces of information that are required here. So we have first name, last name, phone, address. Usually that's good enough to get your package delivered or even ask the customer where they would want this delivered. So we've so we've so we've got rid of all the information that we actually didn't need at that particular moment in our setup. Now what I want to do is just show you uh something that um you can set variables to even this uh, particular Thing. maybe you want to remove this field if only there were virtual products and so on so what you can do is you can tap and find out is this a virtual uh, product that I would want to get rid of but simply by unsetting the fields you actually get what you want so this is how we remove fields
In the next video, I'll actually show you how you can also add other fields and customize these to your own need. So thank you for watching and happy coding.